Good morning and welcome to our morning prayers this morning, uh, this Monday. Uh, it's lovely to be able to join with you in prayers. And we've got a reading from Hosea and then a reflection. And also we'll go through the exam and an opportunity to bring our day before God. And then any prayers that we want to offer, we'll have the opportunity of doing it too. So let's be still and prepare ourselves as God is present to us. Let's be present to him. Hallowed be your name on earth as in heaven. Kia tapu tau ingoa, kia runga ki te whinua, kia rite anō ki tōturangi. Always be joyful, pray continually. Give thanks whatever Never happens. Happen. The reading this morning comes from the little book of Hosea and the last chapter, chapter 14. Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God, for you have stumbled because of your iniquity. Take words with you and return to the Lord. Say to him, take away all guilt, accept that which is good, and we will offer the fruit of our lips. Assyria shall not save us. We will not ride upon horses. We will say no more, our God, to the work of our hands. In you, the orphan finds mercy. I will heal their disloyalty. I will love them freely, for my anger has turned from them. I will be like the dew to Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the forests of Lebanon. His shoots shall spread out. His beauty shall be like the olive tree and his fragrance like that of Lebanon. They shall again live beneath my shadow, and they shall flourish as a garden. They shall blossom like the vine. Their fragrance shall be like the wine of Lebanon. O Ephraim, what have I to do with idols? It is I who answer and look after you. I am like an evergreen cypress. Your faithfulness comes from me. Those who are wise understand these things. Those who are discerning know them. For the ways of the Lord are right, and the upright walk in them, but transgressors stumble in them. Just a reflection to uh, start us off in our prayers for the day. In this final poem, Hosea gives us a glimpse into a new possibility with God that is on offer to Israel. That new possibility of reconciled life with God is voiced in two modes. First, there is a series of imperatives voiced in divine oracle that affirm that new possibility depends on a change of heart by God's people. The imperatives include two times the verb return, two times take, and a remarkable say, through which Israel is instructed on what to say to God by way of repentance. Israel is to acknowledge that it cannot be saved by arms, horses, and that it will stop its idolatry. Remarkably, Israel is to assert that God is a God of mercy for orphans. It is as though God needs to be prompted in order to accept orphaned Israel, that is, to be reminded of that role in the world. On the other hand, we are given a divine declaration that God will heal and love freely and will cause agricultural prosperity. It is not clear how these two segments of text are related to each other. Is the second dependent on the first? Or is God's own resolve a unilateral act? We are not told. Mostly we do not speak or think about getting right with God, but we do think and hope often that our lives might be fuller more whole, more joyous, more coherent. In gospel perspective, all those yearnings depend on being right with God. In the contemporaneity of this text, we're invited to changed attitude, conduct and policy. No more idols, no more self-securing, but acknowledgement of our status as orphans bound for home as we are addressed by Yahweh. 
more and better are possible in our lives than we are likely to imagine. So we come to the examen. Today is a fresh day. It is a good day, Lord, because you have made it. Therefore, it is full of possibilities and hope. Jesus, you are our source. Help, Help us, us to live, live the day, day with, with you, you in, in the, the centre. You call us together as your body. Help, Help us, us to share, share the day, day well with, with others. others. Yours, Lord, is a revolution of love. Help, Help us, us to share, share good news with the, the last, lost, the lost and, and the least. Amen. 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 Now we come to a time of prayer and we'll start. Uh, globally and then we'll work down to uh, any personal things we want to bring and we'll allow some space for you to to say your own prayer where you are so let's pray first of all for situations around the world and we pray for the recovery of those who are suffering from COVID-19 whether they're the highest of the leaders or whether they're the ordinary person on the street. All are valued in God's sight, all are loved by God, and all stand in need of a healing touch from God. So we pray for those who suffered, who are wrestling with the virus and those who've lost loved ones. We pray for those in positions of leadership and responsibility that actually when we, when we come to vote them in place, we pray that those leaders will behave responsibly and work for the common good. They would exude humility and grace and compassion. That they would be just in their dealings and they would lead with mercy Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray to you for nations that are struggling really desperately because of the financial implications of the virus and the um, damage that has been done to um, workforces and transport, to um, fear about exchange rates and um, values of things about property and about debt. And we ask for such mercy, wisdom, justice and grace on the part of those who have against those who have not. We ask for healing of the wounds of poverty and injustice and oppression, which is only enhanced by this pandemic. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for our neighbourhood and communities. Lord, we ask that you be with them. We pray for the well-being of our city, and the, the town or village or suburb in which we live. We pray that you would use us to be a blessing to others, our neighbours, and to welcome those who come from other places. We pray especially for those who are homeless. We ask that you would be with these people. And we pray for those who serve them, like the City Mission, and for others too. We pray for an equipping and encouragement and an ability to get alongside. 
And we pray that all may know that they are loved and valued. Lord, we pray for community well-being in our neighbourhoods. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And now we lift to God those people that are on our hearts, perhaps are recovering from surgery or waiting for an appointment or for some results. Those who are bereaved, those who are anxious and fearful. Mm. And we pray especially for those who support everyone with mental health issues and anxieties about home life situations. Let's now have a moment of quiet when you can lift the needs that you know about to God. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much that you are the father to the orphan and the widow. You are the lover to the lonely. And you are the brother and sister to those who are far, far from their families. We thank you that you are the God of eternity. And so we commit into your hands those who have died. And we pray for such undergirding for all of those who are grieving. And then we pray for those whose lives are in danger because of ill health or any other reason. We ask for the carers to be strengthened and encouraged and to be upheld. We cry out to you because you are the father and mother, the heart that we need. And we lean into you, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And as we conclude our prayers, just take your hands and... <clears throat> open them like this just so you could have them rest them on your legs or whatever but just have your hands open to receive the grace of God, Jesus and receive the spirit of Jesus into your life for this day just in this moment of silence receive and as we receive let's say the Lord's Prayer together our Father, Father in heaven, heaven, hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And a prayer to conclude. Holy One, holy and eternal, awesome, exciting and delightful in your holiness. Make us pure in heart to see you. Make us merciful to receive your kindness and to share our love with all your human family. Then will your name be hallowed on earth as in heaven. Amen. Thanks very much for joining us. We did say, encourage you last last week, if you wanted to bring a journal or a book uh, and a pen, I'm going to uh, talk about that in probably in the next week or so. So just make sure it's there when you come to pray. And if you didn't get the message last week, then please just make a point, a little notebook or something that we can uh, write a few things down for uh, that will help us in our in our prayer as the week as the weeks go forward. So I just remind a few to do that. Otherwise, we'll see you later in the week and then on Sunday too. Thanks for joining us for prayers today. Bye. Bye.